High-end Windows mobile phones are almost the same these days when it comes to hardware specifications. The Samsung Omnia 2, for example, has features that are almost identical with HTC's Touch HD. This includes connectivity options like HSDPA, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and GPS for navigation. Its OLED screen displays 800 by 480 pixels and measures 3.7 inches diagonally. On its top is a 3.5mm audio port and a single micro USB connector for charging and syncing. What makes it different is the user interface. HTC has its TouchFlow 3D software, while Samsung has the TouchWiz 2.0 interface. The home screen has been replaced with a widget interface. This can be customized to your liking by choosing from a list. Some, like the Google widget, are more useful than others. Notification icons up here can sometimes be difficult to tap on because they are so small. With the Omnia 2, tapping anywhere on the top will bring up an enlarged version for easier access. Pressing Start will bring you to an icon-based menu system. This shows 4 pages here and can be expanded to 10 pages for up to 120 applications. Samsung has managed to hide almost every aspect of Windows Mobile, right down to the settings page. Only some advanced settings like managing data connections will send you to the default Microsoft interface. One thing we really liked was the task switcher. This appears when you press and hold the menu button. It shows you what apps are running in the background and lets you switch between them effortlessly. You can even close them completely to save memory. There are times when we wished the interface was faster. The lock screen, for example, takes some time to appear after you press the unlock key. But generally, TouchWiz 2.0 is reasonably responsive and it did make Windows Mobile 6.1 more user-friendly. Finally, one of the best things about the Samsung Omnia 2 is its price tag of 898 Singapore dollars. It can be had for even less with some operator subsidies.